Hello everybody, my name is Savannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have an unboxing to do and that is going to be a fairy loot unboxing and I'm so excited. The theme for this month's box is uh, mutinous pirates, I believe, and one of the items in here, the thing I am so excited for, is King of Scars, the little pamphlet thing, like not the full book it's just a little bit of it but still I am super excited about it because it follows one of my favorite characters ever and my husband and that is Nikolai and I am just super excited to see what else is in this box as well so without further ado let's get on with the video and I'm really glad I actually got the box this time and not some other weird box so that's that's cool too okay so I'm not gonna look because I think it's just much more fun if I let you guys see what's in it first. Okay, so I love the spoiler card. It is beautiful. I think it's so pretty and it's not damaged. I'm really happy about that because if you watch one of my vlogs, I think, I did a fairy loot unboxing and the spoiler card was all bent up and it was also pretty, but you know, this is very pretty and it has everything that's on it in there. I don't know. But I'm not going to look at it because it, it spoils everything and I want to be surprised. So the first thing I see in here is this thing. I have no clue what- oh, it looks like a flag. Let me take- oh no, wait, not a flag. A banner thing? I have no clue what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the Nikolai item they included. It says when people say impossible, they usually mean improbable. And this is from the Grisha trilogy and I love this quote so much. It's it's, it's Nikolai's little quote and I just love it so much and I'm just going to hang this somewhere and look at it all the time and think of Nikolai. <laughs> okay, I see some really exciting things in here so I'm going to look at this first. Oh wait, there's a magnet, okay. It says, oh the ridiculous things one has to, has to do when one is a pirate. So this is from Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Leventeller. You can't really see it back there, so that's what it looks like. Sorry about the glare, but it has this little treasure chest in the back. I don't know if you can see that. It's not really focusing on that. There we go. And it's a magnet, and it's so pretty, and I love it. So. The next thing in here is... I don't know. <laughs> it says sweet pea botanical magic use dissolution of internal organs. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. It's cherry blossom sugar scrub soap. That sounds cool. Uh, it's designed by or was made by Geeky Clean. So I'm gonna see what this smells like. If I can get it open, maybe. Oh my gosh. <sighs> How do you open this? Ow. This is painful. <laughs> no wait, I was trying to open the wrong thing. Mmm, that smells good. And it's like, I don't know, it smells like the beach, which I guess I would expect from a pirate's box. So that's what it looks like. I don't know, I just have to say it's a beach smell. And that's the lid. I don't know if I showed you or not, but there it is. The next thing I see, it looks like it's a candle and it is... It says Elian Prince of Midas, Sea Mist, and Musk. Malpa Musk. So I don't know what this is from. Mmm, it smells good too. And it's so pretty. Oh, I love when they do that with candles. They put in sparkles or whatever. It's so cool. And that's what it looks like. That's the lid. So this may be from the book, which would be super cool. It smells good. It's just a clean scent. I don't know how to describe it. Again, it reminds me of the beach or the ocean. Okay, so the next thing on top. Wow, this is a big box. Oh, it looks like some sort of drinking thingy. It is. It says, why is the rum always gone? And this is from Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the item they were including in it, and it's just this little drinking thing. It's really nice. It has like this nice print of why is the rum always gone? 
and I love that quote so much because it's hilarious and I don't know if I'll be able to drink out of this because my parents are big on like being healthy and stuff and plastic has BPA, BPS so I may not be able to drink out of this because of me. we have other bottles for you like stainless steel it's boring but you know but I could use this for something else like money possibly or whatever we'll see but it came in this cute fairy loot bag and I love it and there's just so much in this box I am very pleased with it oh yes this is so cool the next thing is pirate wax seal oh I've always wanted one of these so badly so it's like it comes with this thingy it's like <laughs> it's this it's where you like you put the wax seal on an envelope or something and I've always wanted one of these and now I have a pirate one and it has like a little skull and crossbones on it it's so cool and I'm very happy with this I think you just light this on fire or something and it burns so we'll see later I would not like to burn down this house yet I see it oh I'm so excited <sighs> it's the sampler of king of scars Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh, it's a poster too! Oh yeah! I am so happy! Privateer, soldier, bastard, survivor, ruler, monster. Oh, we, let's get rid of monster. My baby's not a monster. Please don't be a monster. But this is such a nice poster. I would definitely be hanging it up. And I can also start reading this. I'm so excited! So the next thing I see in here is this paper thing with a ton of different classics on it i actually got peter pan i have that book like this exact copy as well and i think these are like the nice ones the nice classic ones and they have a ton of cool stuff like in peter pan they had like a crocodile thing a crocodile clock a ton of different art and stuff it's really worth the 20 bucks yeah it was 20 bucks but it's so worth it it's beautiful and i just love it so much so definitely go check these books out i want to get more of these so we'll see purple confetti and now we've made it to the book and i am super excited like this never changes. I'm super excited. I can't wait. It's all the same stuff. So let's just open it. Wow, this is a heavy book. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, so it says happy reading on it. It's fairy loot. So let's see. Oh, I see green sprayed edges. Okay, I'm going to show it to you first. And then, oh, I like this cover. Okay, it, it's a nice feeling cover. It's like the soft cover. So I'll show the book to you first before I see it. Here it is. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! I wanted this book so badly! Okay, like, oh my gosh, I am so happy. And it's signed, and oh, I'm, I'm so happy right now. I wanted to get this, but I wasn't sure, because it was like 15 bucks, and I'm like, I'm not paying 15 bucks for a book. I'm sorry, but like... Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I wanted to read this book so badly. I am very happy at the moment. Okay, so I kind of forgot to tell you what these Rebel Waves were about. And so I'm going to tell you about it because you, sh you probably want to know what it's about. And another name I can yet again not pronounce. So I apologize if this sounds weird. Oh my gosh, what's with all these weird names? I just normal names authors please like yes they're pretty unique but seriously <sighs> here we go Adi Luna is a soldier five years ago she helped the magic rich island of Grace Loray overthrow its oppressor Ag Argrid a country ruled by religion but it just <laughs> but adjusting to post-war life has not been easy when an Argridian delegate vanishes during peace, talks with Grace Larray's new council, Argrid demands brutal justice, but Lou suspects something dangerous is at work. Okay, I'm guessing Lou is like a shorter name for Adiluna. Devereaux is a pirate. As one of the stream raiders who run rampant on Grace Larray, he scavenges the island's magic 
plants and sells them on the black market. But after Argrid accuses raiders of the diplomat's abduction, Vex becomes a target. An expert navigator, he agrees to help Lou find the Argridian, but the truth they uncover could be deadlier than any war. Binat is a heretic. The crown prince of Argrid has... <laughs> Binat is a heretic. The crown prince of Argrid, he harbors a secret obsession with Grace Larray's forbidden magic. When Ben's father, the king, gives him the shocking task of reversing Argrid's fear of magic, Ben has to decide if one prince can change a devo devout I can't talk country or if he's building his own uh, pyre pierre. You see all these words in books, you think you know how to pronounce them in your head, but when you go to actually say them out loud, you have no clue if it's right or not. As conspiracies arise, Lou, Vex, and Ben will have to decide who they really are and what they are willing to become for peace. And I also don't know if I told you who the author was. It's Sarah Rash. Uh, I guess I didn't tell you that, but you know. And can we just say how beautiful this cover is? It's so pretty. I love it so much. And these pages are so beautiful as well. Okay, now back to the past. For me, present for you, because this is the future for you. So. Well, no, everything will be in the past. You know what? Yeah, let's just get back on with what we were going with. And what's left in this little bag thing. Ooh, there's quite a few stuff to show to you. So we have the bookmark that is from, like, the spoiler card. We have the buddy card thing. So if you are my buddy, please let me know. I am 006772. We could read this book together. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. It's an art print with the letter on the back. And oh, this is beautiful. I love that they're doing art prints now. I got one with uh, the last one with that book. And it's beautiful too. And oh, I'm so excited. Next, I have this little paper thing. I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe it goes with the book, but it's really pretty and cool. Oh, I guess I should have showed this too closer, but there it is. And then now I have this. So it probably goes with the book. And then we have our fairy scoop for me and this pirates. And we have uh book recommendations and stuff so we have to kill a kingdom by alexandra christo daughter of the pirate king by trisha levenzeller sea fire by natalie c parker and pacifica by kristen simmons and it has an interview with the author and blah blah, blah. and then oh yeah we have the september box on the back and the theme for it and it is star cross swoons Okay, I I like this stuff a lot. Like star-crossed lovers, my one of my favorite tropes ever, and I just think it's like it's so cool and stuff. So it's time for us to reveal this little the September theme, and we couldn't be more excited. The September theme is star-crossed swoons. Like I told you. Okay, you love your books with star-crossed lovers? Yes. Characters that make you swoon. Yes, please. Rich tales and lush descriptions? Yes, please. Then this box is perfect for you. The box items... Uh, I cannot talk. This box features items inspired by Twilight. Something I haven't read yet, but I'm going to eventually get there. Stranger Dreamer. Yes! <gasps> A Court of Thorns and Roses! Yeah! This is my way of expressing how excited I am. Shadow Hunters and Shadow and Bone. Yes! They just put all the good books together. There are some really amazing items in here that we have never included in previous boxes. I cannot wait. I am so excited. Our book pick is from a fantastic debut author, and the story follows a girl whose survival depends on being the perfect body double to a cruel princess. Expect allure, danger, disguises, and swoon-worthy romance. It's got everything. We are so thrilled to reveal that our edition will have an exclusive cover. Oh yes, I I know that Owlcrate does exclusive covers. Um, I don't think this is, but 
And I really like exclusive covers because, like, you can get them nowhere else, and it's super cool. Sprayed pages. I love sprayed pages. They should just make sprayed pages on all books. And will actually be signed by the author. How awesome is that? And they've been getting their book signed by the author recently, and... I'm very happy with that too. So this box sounds super exciting. I cannot wait for it now. And I just, I love the items I got in here. I don't know what my favorite one is. I mean, like, obviously I was expecting this. I was like, yes, I can't wait for it. Oh no, I just saw something on the back. It's a duology. It's, he only gets two books. But, I mean, her her duologies are pretty good. I mean, I've read Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I love those books so much. So, hopefully this is another good one. So, like, I was expecting this. So, like, this is a favorite of mine, but not my absolute favorite. I think it has to be this thing because, oh, I'm so excited. I'm really happy that I got this. And it's just so cool. And I cannot wait to use it even though i have no clue what i'm going to use it for and obviously the book so yeah and i'm really happy about this like i said so i can't wait to read this i'm like so I've, i'm just really happy with everything i got in here if you would like to subscribe to next month's box go right ahead because it sounds fantastic i will be getting that box and then that's it unless i come up with some more money but you know Probably not enough. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this fantastic fairy loot box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.